welcome back to Mandic and Merrill's Midfest Grillin'. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. It's New Year's Eve time. It's the holiday season. It's part two of Mad Dog and Merrill's holiday show. And we'll be right back after this, folks. Pit Boss Grills presents Mad Dog and Merrill Midwest Grillin'. Brought to you by Pit Boss Grills, Griddles and Accessories, Louisiana Grills and Smokers, The Power of Wisconsin Potatoes, Sun Drop Soda, Cherry Delight, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, Shooting Star Casinos, The Wisconsin Agriculture Tourism Association, and by Lash Pro Visual Communications. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin'. I'll tell you what, we had a great time at the North Pole on the first show of the holiday season, so we're back in the North Pole. I'll tell you what, I was glad to be back, too. I'll tell you I'll what, tell you. when you come to the North Pole, thank God for the GPS. <laughs> we, are, we are in the North Pole Christmas Village, and you go to NorthPoleChristmasVillage.com. It's a gorgeous place. It's a wonderful place. It's a great time to relax and come with the family. Set your GPS to the North Pole Christmas Village. It's around Chilton, Wisconsin. <laughs> uh, around Chilton, Wisconsin. It was. Yeah. And, 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 and zigzag, beautiful out in the country. And when you get here, it's just absolutely gorgeous. They got like uh, 56 different countries have visited here already. I know. It's, just, it's just amazing. And they get 50,000 visitors each and every year. Yeah. That's and just, the displays uh, are gorgeous. Animatron. Oh, when you walk in there, I mean, it just hits you. Then you keep on going on. It keeps on getting better and better. There's and bigger bears, and bigger there's and bigger. penguins, there's reindeer, there's Santa Claus, and Santa Claus is at the end. It's just a wonderful <laughs> yeah. little thing. It really I'm is. I'm loving it. Teddy bears, over 100 teddy bears. <laughs> that I didn't know. And they all kind of like move. And yeah. there's 60 elves that like move, and there's yep, yep. 100 different bears that move. I love the baker. Oh, yeah, rolling out the uh, pie, yeah, rolling out the awesome. pie crust. I saw Talking that. Talking about one moving, too. what do we got going here? Well, pretty easy. <laughs> I see some pretty good meat here, boy. You're not getting your drink yet. <laughs> so we got the griddle going. We got surf and turf. It's, it, we're talking about New Year's. We're talking about New Year's uh, traditions, resolutions. Right. We're talking about surf and turf, and we got a, 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 a slew of stuff to do. The first thing we're going to do is grease up the griddle. You got it. That'll do it. <laughs> get a little bacon on. Uh, get a little bacon on the griddle. Get that grease just to going. So I'm going to put those on. We'll get some grease going a little bit, and I'll swirl that around before we get any meat on well, there. Oh, what a selection you have here. Favorite, Freddie, what's your favorite? What, if you had surf and turf, what would it be? Well, I love shrimp. You know me. So, so, so we have the awesome shrimp here. Okay. And I'll tell favorite. you what, when awesome shrimp is, is, comes to you, whether you go to awesomeshrimp.com or you go to one of the great places you can find on their website to go get it, it comes in the shell. It's, right. it's deveined. It's in the shell. It's easy to peel. And normally we do that, but it retains so much moisture and so much flavor when you put it on a griddle or when you cook it. And, and it's got that, that shell on it. Right. And that's the reason it comes that way, because it retains so much great flavor. We have crab cakes over here. Uh, we've got some northern pike, lake trout, and some beautiful scallops. And we don't want to marinate them too long, but marinates are an acid. Yes, and that are. acids are going to break down the tissues of the meat. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of lemon over the top of all those, okay. just to get a flavor. And you'll kind of see it like cook right through. If we left it too long, you'd have a Korean dish that's already cooked. We've been there, haven't we, 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 we hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Never marinate shrimp overnight. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. And like a little lime catered, over the top yeah. of that. And we're going we're gonna to let that set just a tad right. bit. But what we're going to do is, is gorgeous. These are Kansas City-style steaks. Okay. We've got some beautiful pork chops. We've got lamb chops. Uh, lamb chops. We have a uh, uh, chicken breast over here. Now the pork and the beef all come from our good friends at Vindicator. Oh, remember, right, yeah. remember doing those. The Vind Vindicator brand, Vindicator brand. That's the Mangalista pork. That's 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 bread oh, with oh, all oh. kinds of great marbleization. Yeah, I remember so, that. So for the holidays, if you want to go to Vindicator brand and order some of uh, uh, their great products, they would really appreciate it. You'll never be dissatisfied. I'll guarantee you. It's wonderful, great stuff. These called they call these Kansas City style. Some people call them New York strips. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah, they do the Kansas City style. And all we're going to do is just we're just going to add a little extra oil on top of there, uh, just to make sure that those are oiled a little bit. Now our two favorite seasonings when it comes to 
trying to steal Grandma Hazel. I always, Grandma Hazel's hard to get all the time because everybody takes it, you know? Grandma, 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 grandma Hazel is the, the best <laughs> seafood steak in the world. So we're going to put Grandma Hazel on most of those. And then our up north peppery because we're at the North Pole. So we're going to put up north. This is actually a beautiful smoked pork chop. That one's mine. I love smoked pork oh. chop. Look at that baby right there. Look at the fat on that baby. That's it. that mangalista to pork from yeah, the Vindicators. Yeah, yeah, They're great folks. Fat is good. There's nothing wrong with fat. Folks. Now, now, when you come to the North Pole, when you come to the North Pole, make sure you come to relax and enjoy it. They've got a little uh, 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 food concession type area there. Right. they yeah. got a beautiful gift shop. I got my coffee mug in there. We got some t-shirts. They go, they're a nonprofit agency here. So they go strictly by donations. And if you bring a food pantry item, they've laid down like 25 tons of food pantry uh, uh, products in the last few years that they've That's been here. Great, they've been at this location for about four or five years now. Uh, Tro uh, Troy actually started several years ago in Kekona, Wisconsin. It got too big. And they, and they asked him because of all the traffic and happening and stuff like that <laughs> to, 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 uh, to, to, to move out in the country. And it was to the North Pole. To the North Pole. Head north. And Head what north. Better place, Head what north. better place for a facility like this than the North Pole? And if you're, a, if you're an assistant living or a nursing home or if you're a company and you want to do a Christmas party here or just attend, you got to go to the NorthPoleChristmasVillage.com. They'll fix you up. Man, they do a lot of great things with with uh, with uh, disabled and handicapped, not just children but adults, right, yeah. and also with the elderly. It's a great place, really. Great to come. group of people here. So I'm going to season both sides of these. Get these on the griddle. Then we're going to go back and season our fish. What's up over here, Merle? What's up? Well, here I'll tell you what. Freddie, have you ever had a Smith and Kearns? I don't know if I have or not. I Smith had a Smith and Wesson once. Uh, after named after two guys that were oil men. In I Oklahoma. got involved with a shotgun wedding once. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to do a Smith and Kearns. We're going to do a Smith and Wesson. Oh, great! Okay, so we're using a little bit of uh, uh, club soda here on here, but definitely what these both have in it. I'm using some uh, cream de coke. Whoa, baby! All right, a little Oops, cream de coke. Bacon, bacon, bacon. A little bacon. cream de coke. Here's the neat thing. For you, you're having what we call the Smith and Wesson. Okay. And Smith and Wesson's has vodka in it. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew you wouldn't argue about that one. Well, it's got to be got to have some right. loaded with some bullets. A little of that in there. Now I'm going to have the regular Smith and Kearns without the vodka. All right. All right. And then let me just put this top on. I don't want to spill my vodka. Well, I'll hold it for you. Well, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> All right, got some cream. Freddie, you can't hold your vodka. No. <laughs> oh, I just right. made a mess, Freddie. I got some cream on the side there. Oh, baby. But this is what's good, though. You won't believe this, but you add club soda in there. <laughs> and it just makes a big difference. You got a nice carbonation in it. Put this on the top. Somehow it's a milkshake for adults as well. Good catch, brother. About. Got that. All right, Freddie. Let me just swipe this off a little bit. Everything here. We're all right. You can start with that. There sure. we go. There we go. That's gonna Enjoy. do. Enjoy. It's gonna do wonders for my diet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> you got some New Year's resolutions handy, Freddie? Well, you know, nothing special. I'm going to keep on this weight training that I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I know you're good. <laughs> and that so muscle that's sure you're right. Yeah, this will get this straight. Okay, so the acid, had, the acid had worked into here pretty well. Uh, we're going to grab a little bit of oil, and we're going to slosh a little oil. In fact, you can see that the northern actually is turning white. That's, that's the acids breaking down the tissues. That's the acids actually cooking that meat product. So that's where you don't want to wow. ruin the tissues of the meat. We're gonna slosh a little on here. The crab cakes are gonna go by themselves. I'm gonna get those on right now, get them out of the way. Love crab cakes. I do too. We're gonna put those over the soft heat. I got soft heat Man. over here over the fish, hot heat over here over the pork, over the beef and the pork and the chicken. Look at this man go, Freddie. Citrus ain't twist and garlic yet. pepper. Citrus, citrus twist and garlic pepper. Sodium free, both of them. Sodium free, both of them. Sodium free, both of them. <laughs> wow. Is it sodium free? Both of them. <laughs> Both of them. All two. Yeah, or as Merrill would say, free of sodium. Free of sodium. Free so of so sodium. now we, we also have some tuna steaks going on the pit boss, but gotcha. here's the key we did. I took beautiful ahi tuna and we took it down to a size right here, just to a small little portions. We're going to take some of our garlic up north peppery, because we are at the North Pole, up north we're peppery, up north. the North we're Pole. Up north, and gentlemen. we're simply going to put those and impact all those and do a little pepper tuna. 
We're going to take bacon because everything's better with bacon. Oh, ho, 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 and we're going to skewer that baby through there. Wow. And I'm going to put one more, one more right there. We're going to take another pick. Skewer that baby. That gets rolled around once, twice, and stretched out to add to that other pick. That goes on the grates of the grill. I've got some cooking over here. We'll show those in a minute. I'm going to get this fish on the grill, oh. and we're going to be right. Freddie, Freddie, how's that drink? <laughs> I don't want to put it down. <laughs> it is incredible. Well, let me get this fish on the grill and you can play some music. All we'll right, be right back boy. with more Mad Dog and Merrill's from the North Pole. Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grill. It's the holiday season. What better place to... to, to to, to celebrate the holidays in the North Pole. That's right. You gotta come I'm to ready the North for Pole. New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's always ready for and New And bring Year's. your friends Smith and Curran's along. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, Troy and Meg do a great job here. They really do. And their one goal in life, basically, when it comes to here, uh, uh, is to make sure that all people are, are treated equally. Right, exactly. Uh, whether you're disabled, children, elderly, whatever it is, uh, you're, you're uh, a great place to come. There's no crowds. It's easy to do. Uh, and don't forget about the elderly folks at this time, too, because the assistant living and the nursing homes, they can all take tours. It's a self-guided tour. It's a great place. Santa's always at the end. They're open November 18th until Christmas time, and it's a wonderful time. You got to see it. Or you won't believe it. You really won't believe it. Oh, yes. Hell, hell, the gang's all here. Yeah, so, we're here. So several times on the show throughout the years, we've always stuffed squash or did a lot with squash. My neighbor Cody and, and, and Kira had, had these great Hubbard squash in their yard. <laughs> and I said, man, no one's going to take those babies but me. So, so, so I, I donated a little money to those good folks. <laughs> and, and we're going to create a little. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh it fell. <laughs> The Gallagher of cooking. <laughs> Unbelievable. I, I didn't know if it was Gallagher or Tim the Tool Man. Holy <laughs> man. Very You're nice. You're doing a good job. Really? He's not done yet. Right. Right. <laughs> Give him a hand there. No, uh, yeah, just don't take mine. All right. <laughs> the man's a professional, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You wouldn't see Bobby play doing this. Trust me, you wouldn't. That's for sure. Look at oh, that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Freddie, I got your new hat. <laughs> <laughs> so Holy I'll tell you what. The, 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 the Hubbards are noted for one thing. A lot of meat and a heavy, a hearty shell on the outside. So in order to get to that, we had, we had to use our Zaza. Is that called a Zaza? Yeah. Yeah. A Zaza. I'm a professional. Does that like Saws all Gabor? <laughs> saws all. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm okay. sorry. Is that what it is? Saws all? Yeah. Oh, that was a Saws all. <laughs> saws all Gabor. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a scoop in on this. This is our vessel. Uh, this is what what I, I tell you what. I spent four and a half hours baking something yesterday, and you guys better appreciate it. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna get a scoop on this. Man, right. We need a glaze. Our, our stuff is cooking. Right. Honest to God, the the, the 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 surf and turf is looking absolutely excellent. You couldn't find a better meal than the surf and turf we're doing here today. And that tuna wraps over there, phenomenal. But we're gonna get a scoop on All this. All right, I'll get to make it a glaze. You know, so many things you can do with glazes, as you can see. Obviously, we've got I've got the good old uh, Hickory barbecue sauce of ours. I'm going to pour the whole thing on there because we're going to be doing a big glaze on that. And, you know, you can add different flavors that you could like. You know, if you wanted to, you could even use, like, garlic on there. You could actually use ginger on there. Add a little bit of soy sauce if you want to. Today we're using a little bit, just a little bit of oil. Not very, not a lot of oil. Just a little bit of oil in that. I want to make that. So that gives it just a nice glaze on there. Uh, obviously, our up north pepper. That's a great pepper. It's a little blend of pepper, garlic, and onion in there. That's uh, the, just phenomenal. All right. Then we got a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, the, the W, w sauce. sauce. <laughs> that in. And there again, you can use anything that you want to. Again, you always hear me talk about cleaning out the refrigerator, but I do mean that. Just wait, Very just wait, hold on. Safety first. Oh, God, scared the heck out of me. <laughs> let's, get, let's get rid of that son of a gun before we do get hurt. Yeah, really. I was a little nervous. Hey, what, how's it going down there? <laughs> hello, hello. 
I think you oh. unplugged the piano. <laughs> <laughs> On purpose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a little balsamic vinegar in here. We're well, obviously going to stir that around. Place that as a glaze on there. It'll come out really good. Don't even have to taste it. I can guarantee you that's going to taste good. We've got the hickory on there. Stir that up. It's a little mop sauce type. Yeah, well, it yeah, is. It is a mop sauce. Mop sauces are great because you drill them. They don't have a whole bunch of sugar in there. There you go, sir. Me, 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 me. So, so let's do one thing here before we do get going here because okay. this stuff's looking great. It can use a little bit of mopping. Yes, and that's can. exactly what a mop sauce is all about. Get yourself a good brush. A nice silicone brush. These pit bosses or Louisiana ones are just absolutely phenomenal. They are. I'm gonna leave uh, I'm gonna leave the the, the the seafood go just the way it's at. Okay. okay. I need a little help, guys. Here All we right. go. All right. So I spent four hours. I didn't know how long it was gonna bake. Ready? But it has to be wrapped up in foil. There's our little vessel, by the way. Now okay. those can be stuffed. You can do smaller versions. You know what I'm gonna do next year, folks, when you come back? I wanted to do it. And this one here is a whole chicken. Come on. And then bake it in there. Oh, for sure. Uh, a dressed one. <laughs> <laughs> dressed one. <laughs> Interesting. That's a okay, great listen, idea. I, I, I honest to God, I haven't looked. Really? Oh, that's his brother. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So look at on the inside. Let's, let's that's move amazing. it. Now, how long that Can we move this a... foil? But watch the juices. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Hurry, though, hurry, though, hurry. Okay, this, okay, this weighs a ton. Hurry, though, hurry, though, hurry, though. This weighs a ton. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy cow. So maybe I don't need your help. We'll see what happens. How do we cut that for television? There we go. Oh, this is this. oh that's tender now. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll open up. To, oh, baby. So, oh. so, <laughs> honest to goodness, the stuffing that I made, cherries in there, mushrooms in there. Uh, we had uh, 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 both rice and, and, and croutons, chicken broth in there, all kinds of great seasonings. I love squash on the grill. I just love squash on the grill. I love How long did you cook this for? Seriously, four hours. Lori and I, I put it on the, Lori and I went for a walk with, uh, with Rudy, our new puppy. Mm. Went through Hatton Park, 40 minutes. I said, halfway through, I said, Lori, I said, I got that squash on the grill. She goes, we better get back. I said, I got time. <laughs> How's the squash? That's incredible. Delicious. It's really good. So we got to get this stuff off the grill. You guys got to take a little break. Freddie's got to play a little music. Mad Dog and Meryl at the North Pole will be right back. That is so good. I know, I bet it is. I love squash. Wow. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, we got the steaks. We got, oh, hey, wait, you know what? We got tuna on the grill. Merrill, oh, yeah, back yeah, yeah. up that way. Oh, man, look at them babies. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We're going to get, I got to use my hands on All that. Right. That's hotter than Dutch love, but I'll tell you what, it's well worth it. Sorry about my back. Look at that seafood surf and turf for the holidays. Well, we don't want that to slide off, do we? Hold on. That's going flat. I don't care about the camera shot. That's going flat. Wow. <laughs> so should we start a tradition? Tell me, yes. Okay, uh, we, you, uh, traditions, that's what the holiday's for. Start right. new traditions, family traditions, uh, whatever the case may be. It's all about the family when it comes to the holiday season. And remember who comes first. Uh, it's, not, it's not about gifts and everything else. Just remember who comes first and what comes first. This is a dragon fruit. Okay. I've never had a dragon fruit. No, I haven't either. Freddie? <laughs> Obviously not. a drag race. But they, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. How do you keep your skirt up? <laughs> dragon, right, so dragon fruit. Okay, give me so we're starting a tradition. Every year we're going to do this dragon fruit. It looks like a kiwi on the inside. Right. Oh. So what we do, all we simply do now is we flip those babies over and we put them in quarters. Oh, come on, baby. And all we do is turn that around. That peels right off. And there's your dragon fruit. I'll be darned. I'm going to pass that to you, Freddie. Thank you're you. You're going to love it. And honest to goodness, sweet. I've never had it, but you're going to love it. This camera's got to love it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, there's your, there's your, okay, there's your dragon you. fruit. Okay. So every year we're going to do dragon fruit. <laughs> That's good? our family tradition. That's a new tradition that we started. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A little kiwi-ish. Mm -hmm. wow. I love kiwi. Mm -hmm. It's actually really, really good. <laughs> hey, to the New Year's. To help, 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 to
Health, happiness, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wealth, Similar. wisdom, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all those good things, and yeah. great food. And yeah. dragon fruit. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Hey, Freddie, can you play with one hand? We'll be right back to wrap this baby up. It's a holiday show from the North Pole, the NorthPoleChristmasVillage.com. <laughs> Catch me off guard. Welcome back to Bad Luck at Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I can't wait. What a what a spread! Oh, surf mean, and yeah, turf, just, surf and turf. Use your choices. You know, we got steak, we got chicken, we got pork, smoked. We got uh, we got the beautiful fish over here. We got crab cakes. We got all the beautiful, awesome shrimp. The scallops are my favorite. Look Lost, at those tuna rolls. Look at those tuna, <laughs> bacon wrapped tuna. No one's ever done that. Bacon wrapped oh, tuna. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. Happy holidays hey, from the North Everybody Pole. enjoy with our friends and family. Exactly. What he said. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.